Hello, and welcome back. So today we're going to get on with that hammock. You know, the one that I've been promising to make for the last few weeks. So uh, let's crack on and do it. Can we get a feel that you've been watched? Here we go. I'm all excited for this one. Woo! Right. The things you need. Two pieces of ripstop material. Parasilk. Parachute material. What the stuff they make them uh, paragliding kites with. So, I've got myself a nice orange one. And a nice purpley one. Uh, this one's going to be a bit shorter than the last one. The last one was 2.5 metres. This one's going to be 2 metres. The guy's a bit smaller. He's only a small guy. And some rope. Paracord. Um, obviously the weakest points of the hammock are going to be the rope. Make sure it's got a, a good breaking strain. And your knots. Always tie a good knot, or else accidents will happen. Right, let's crack on and put this together. Right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna sew the two pieces together, starting on the longest edge first. We're just gonna sew straight the way down the edge of the material. So, here we go, cue Benny Hill. Right, when you can get close to the end, uh, try and leave a um, probably a two to three inch, a two to three inch gap from the end. Uh, I didn't when I first started. I just had to unpick a little bit, and uh, I didn't put a back stitch in as well. So um, let's just do this. And back stitch and lock it up. So the reason why I sewed the long edge down first is because um, I asked for two metres and obviously uh, one's a little bit longer than the other. So uh, that gives us the the edge to uh, sew across for the end, if this is all making sense. So this is going to be the the bit where the the cord comes through. So we'll sew the top part. And the good thing about ripstop is you've got little lines that you can follow. Um, so let's start this one then with a back stitch. And try and follow the line of the material. Foot's come off. I've lost me foot. And away we go again. It's a bit easier for me, isn't it? Instead of running the material through the machine like last time, so this edge should be a bit simpler. But just uh, 
put a stitch right across the top. Or the last. Let's have a look at this first. Oh, that cutting's not been too good, has it? What's that line down there? Yeah, that should be okay. So as I said before, just follow a line in the material, just part of the ripstop, so if it does tear it, um, it won't go all the way through, it's not made up of little squares. So here we go. Well, the ends don't have to be too neat and tidy, because you'll see in a minute the reason why. So you should be left with two pieces of material sewn together. So when it's turned back round the right way, you should be left with something like this. Look at that. So, see all the seams are hidden. Then the next part. through and just tie it off with a nice knot big old stop knot and then the same the other side so your end result should look something like this don't worry about all this because once it's under tension, it will, um, it'll all pull and straighten out and it'll look a lot different than this. Um, as I've not got a frame, because the frame was um, dismantled and used part of the shed. So, um, stay tuned for when I build the frame and uh, we put this on it and test it out. I'll be the stunt man. It's me not fine, so I feel like it's any good. So, until the Amic frame. Catch you later.